All right, so doing a review of the uh, Sunray 109E, my first trip out with it uh, over the weekend. Came to Jackson State Park in Colorado. This is the back of the kitchen area. Uh, the refrigerator runs off propane or electric. Uh, it's been running on propane the whole weekend. It does have a microwave. Uh, you do have to use either a generator or plug into power to use the microwave. I brought a generator, so I've used it a few times. Uh, it's got a two burner stove. I put two big uh, frying pans on it and was able to cook this morning with breakfast, no problem. Uh, the sink works well. Uh, it does have a six gallon hot water heater, so doing dishes is much easier uh, to do. Uh, there's lots of storage. I got all my pots and pans in the lower cabinetry. And then up top, I've got a bucket with silverware, cookware, or knives and that sort of thing. Plates are in here, dish towels, coffee cups, etc. The kitchen functions very well. Had no issues with the kitchen. Water pumped, to pump the water. Uh, this here is to turn the hot water heater on and off. I only turn it on when I needed it to conserve gas since the propane is uh, keeping the cooler going. The cooler, the refrigerator is big. It's a big size refrigerator. Uh, this is actually a freezer in here as well. So if you want to keep stuff frozen, you can. Uh, this is a quick connect, so if you wanted to hook up a grill or a lantern, you got that. Uh, as you can see, it's got stabilizer jacks, very easy to use. I did buy an impact driver to use specifically with this trailer. Uh, this is the Predator generator I got at Harbor Freight last year. It works great for this. It's a great camping uh, generator. So it's also got hookup for electricity, fresh water. This is where you're going to fill your holding tank for water. It holds 17 gallons. Uh, hookup for TV. This is an already pre-plugged uh, hookup for solar to charge your batteries and run your electrics off of. Uh, this is city water connection for water. This is where the hot water heater is. Outdoor shower area here. I have not had to use that yet. Hey. This here is a good size storage area. Uh, it actually holds this blue tote with all my other stuff. Like a towel, wash rag, hammock, little one pound propane bottles spikes for uh, the awning so also bought a tool kit impact for it I've got the little leveler things in there as well uh, so it's also got a heater here's where your battery pack is and the propane tank I have the 109 e which has the toy hauler on the front great space uh, and I did the off-road package which has got the bigger tires the race suspension on it as well uh, the tires the hubs are buddy bearing so that you can grease those and the axles a 3,500 pound uh, axle and then I also went ahead and I uh, got the the uh, awning to be placed on with it and you can see the uh, roof racks up there as well that come with the off-road package. Uh, you do need that in order to have the awning placed on there. I will insert some pictures of the awning. It worked very well. Uh, my first trip out already in April we were hitting 84 degrees so it was a really nice shady area. This bed will actually pull out all the way so you can fit two people, but I don't need two people currently. Uh, so only partially pulled out and I doubled up the um, 
the cushions that you can see here uh, that are in it to make it more comfortable. My dog, I put his dog bed down in here and he was able to just lay down there. This has also got an air conditioner unit as well. Uh, speakers on the inside and speakers on the outside. The radio has worked great. And you can actually set up the two different zones. Uh, I found that the outside is kind of loud for me. So I just played the indoor speakers. It's also got a roof vent with a fan, electric fan as well. That window does open as well. Uh, so you can create a nice little breeze coming through. I did end up using the air conditioner today, plugging the generator in because it got pretty warm and took a little nap. It worked great to cool down the space very quickly. Uh, so to run smoothly with my escape, I had a seven pin hookup installed. Uh, this allows for the battery to be charged while I'm traveling and this uh, the trailer also has the electric brake so that i and i had a brake system installed as well uh, so that i can use the electric brake on the trailer and as you can see that is the electric brake controller uh, a little expensive to have done but definitely worth the extra money to the electric brake really helps it doesn't push on the vehicle as bad and being able to charge your battery while tri traveling is an excellent idea. It towed very well as well. I had no problems towing it down the highway. I came down Interstate 76 to get to the state park. I was hitting 70 with no issues. Uh, this is my escapes just got a V6 front wheel drive. It handled it just fine. So dry, the trailer is 1,500 pounds. Uh, the 109E, or the 109 without the toy hauler, weighs just a tad over 1,000 at 1,080 pounds. But the toy hauler is definitely worth the extra money and weight. Uh, it gives you a nice open area if you want to haul stuff, bicycles or whatever, uh, when you're camping or even an ATV. So, so far, this is the first trip with this trailer. It's been awesome. Uh, I did... And this is a screen door that you can also place in there as well. Uh, initially, when I first got it last week, I did have some issues. They were more of a manufacturing issue. Uh, I was filling up the water reservoir and it was leaking everywhere. Come to find that the connection from the water reservoir to the uh, water pump uh, was loose and it was literally just spilling out of that connection. I also found that one corner of the water pump was not secured down, which was allowing it to vibrate pretty badly. So I fixed those things on my own. It uh, didn't take a whole lot to do, and I haven't had any other issues beyond that. Uh, so that was just a manufacturing issue on that part. Uh, but otherwise, I have had no issues with this trailer so far. Granted, this has only been a two-day excursion with it. Uh, but it is definitely better than sleeping in a tent after i did a trip to minnesota and back last year i was done with tents and went to this and this is a great one to two person trailer if you want to go somewhere and want to go up in the mountains you want to do trips across the country uh so far so good i will uh, post anything new if i come across it again i'll post some photos of the awning on the trailer as well uh, oh, one other feature I did want to point out, the lid for the kitchen area does come up, which makes a nice protective little area. So if it is raining, you can still cook comfortably. So the 109E Sunray, uh, so far, great trailer. All right, so I discovered a new problem on my way home from uh, Jackson State Park today with the trailer. Uh, as you can see, this is the electric brake system. Uh, I noticed when I was going home, started to leave today that the electric brakes weren't working. I got underneath and these had actually been cut off by something, I don't know what, somewhere in here when I turned probably, 
And the big reason was all this was hanging downward. So I added uh, this wire protection that you can get from pretty much any automotive store and put that. If you look towards the front, you can see that's what all the wiring looked at. I have not uh, covered that up yet. Uh, that's going to require me to go purchasing some more wire cover for it. Uh, but luckily I was able to fix it fairly easily on the go. And now I'm going to be uh, permanently fixing it and tying it up so it's out of the way. But you can see the wiring just kind of hangs loose. There's no brackets to hold anything in. So I'm going to have to look at doing something about that putting a bracket up here of some sort uh, to the frame to hold this up so it doesn't just drop down. Uh, otherwise, still a good tow back home. Uh, no other issues uh, to report.